Hey friends, today I decided to come out and do a little shopping spree and try to find some Disney World memorabilia and theme park used props to add to my collection. So, let's go do this. And we're gonna be visiting the Lakeland Antique Mall. I've been here a couple of times and made some pretty amazing videos and found some awesome stuff. So, let's see what they got in there today. This place is a lot more than just used theme park merchandise. They have some amazing collectibles in here. For instance, take a look at these really old McDonald's comic books they look like. And this is awesome. I love this. That is amazing. But since I'm not actually theming my apartment McDonald's, I'm going to be more focused on, like I said, the Disney World or the theme park merchandise. And holy moly, we've got some amazing things here. Whenever I actually stumble upon so many things that get me excited, it's hard for me to decide where to start. So usually, I'll start with the thing that catches my eye first. And that has to be the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween props and the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party props. That is amazing. Look at this, this is from 2019. These are the prop signs that were in the Magic Kingdom. I can't even believe that these are here actually. Wow. And if you're gonna go all in, you might as well get the gigantic ornaments from the trees too, because these are actually only $60. And then take a look at this. This is actually a piece of Toy Story Mania. Unbelievable. These are the wood wall curtains. Like you remember seeing these in the hallway? You can actually take home a whole entire section of that. And it's only $150. $150 to have an actual piece of Toy Story Mania in your home. I mean, I don't know what you do with it, but it's definitely bragging rights. And it's not just Disney stuff either, because you can see we have Universal Studios props. This is one of the arcade game machines from Halloween Horror Nights 2019. And then look right over here, because that is an awesome prop. And it actually comes all glassed up and everything. That is seriously really interesting. That's a little expensive because, yeah, look at it. Wow. And then behind it, you can actually see an Iceman prop from the Marvel section over at Islands of Adventure. That's an amazing piece. Some pirates from Disney World. They have actually two of the pirates. One's down here too. These are $95 for the pirates. It's not a bad price. And then you go from the theme parks to the resorts. And this is a boardwalk in prop tea cup lamp so these were actually in disney's boardwalk resort rooms look at the little mickeys on the teacups that's amazing it's 60 dollars for that lamp and down here we have some animal kingdom lodge actual original hand-painted art these are actually scattered all around the lodge itself and they have all different types so you can theme a whole entire house to actually these little art pieces and they're going for about $100 a piece because they're original. I personally have been buying basically little tiny knickknacks and like little frames and pictures and stuff like that. But there are some things that I missed out on that I'm a little sad. Like the Animal Kingdom Lodge balcony furniture set. That was amazing. That's no longer here. But they do have something kind of like that. Maybe the patio chairs from Trader Sam's that's amazing 65 dollars to take home a chair from trader sam's grotto that's actually a really good deal there's two of them here too and then right behind it they actually have a gigantic christmas castle and this is from disney springs and look at that it shows you where the castle is actually in the world of disney store 100 oh 1500 dollars yikes but i mean it is pretty iconic Something else caught my eye up there. Look at this. It's a Disney's Halloween merchandise bucket prop. Look at the Halloween pumpkin Mickey. I can't see the price. Oh, $30. That's actually really cool. I noticed that they added a little glass case here. And from my experience, they keep the good stuff in the glass cases. So if you look right here, we have <laughs> the beer taps from the Polynesian Resort and then a gigantic Lego Magic Kingdom castle prop 
that's $650, but that was on display, I think in the Magic Kingdom. Wow. Down here, we've got some Snowman Mickey props and then Candy Cauldron organ pipes. Oh, wow. That's amazing. These were actually the little Candy Cauldron pipes. I like those a lot, $75 for those. And then we got some more resort pictures. Now these are the things that I like. Look at this Wilderness Lodge framed art. These were in the rooms at the Wilderness Lodge and that actually looks like the front of the Wilderness Lodge. This one over here is from Caribbean Beach and it looks like the frame broke on it. So it's only like $5, wow. Oh, and then this actually is a princess side from the old world of Disney. These were very popular before and he had a lot of them and now there's only one left, $50. Sometimes they come across things that they don't know where they actually belong, but they know that it was actually in Disney World and then they have to do their research and find out where it came from. And you can see some of them and I try to guess and I think I know where this came from. This was actually used somewhere on Disney World property, this chair, and I think it was at the Contemporary. If you can see the pattern on the chair, it has little hidden Mickeys in it. What do you guys think? Do any of you recognize this chair from anywhere on Disney World property? Some other cool vintage things they have here, as you can see the 25 years of Walt Disney World banners and signs. I think those are actually really awesome. And then they have Mardi Gras for Universal Studios 2019. These are about $100 a piece. They're very large though. That one is actually really awesome. If you're a fan of the Disney Cruise Line, they have some amazing artwork that were actually on the Disney Cruise ships that I think are like spectacular. Look at these pictures and they're massive actually. This one with the uh, little woman fishing with her dog is actually framed art from the cruise ship The Wonder. It's $195, but that is like gigantic. The frame alone might be worth $195. Then they have that one over there. That one's the same thing. Those are very beautiful pieces of art. And then, holy moly, look at the size of these ones. These are actually from The Wonder as well, used in the restaurant Parrot K. Wow, those are gigantic. $300. This thing is like massive though. Interesting. And then right on the side, they have Port Orleans lights. These were actually hanging in the Port Orleans rooms. This is a display only because all of them are actually in the boxes used. That's amazing, isn't it? Wow. Some things just absolutely blow my mind. Like I said, those pictures are gigantic. And I think like the frames alone are probably worth more than $300 for those gigantic ones and then $100 for those ones some more very interesting items they actually have some cast member uniforms this is a jacket they used during the winter at hollywood studios and here is a shirt that the cast members wore in star wars launch bay at hollywood studios 25 dollars for this one. Oh, and here's an actual cast member coat for hollywood studios look at that some more amazing props that they actually used in the park. These are props from the shelves and the merchandise locations at Animal Kingdom. Look at that, $35, a little wooden beaver. And then I'm guessing this is a lizard. If you remember seeing these on top of the merchandise shelves, let me know, cause that's pretty awesome, isn't it? And if you look in the back, they have some more and you see those little green things, they have a little wear and tear to them. But these are actually from Disney's Art of Animation rooms, the Nemo Suites. You see them in the middle there? That's really cool and they're only $20. I mean, all you have to do is probably add a little paint to that. That in the back right there is actually something very interesting because that is a metal key prop that was used for Disney's 25th anniversary special. Look at that. And take a look at these right here. These are chairs from Disney's Art of Animation, the Lion King suite. Very comfy looking chairs. $250. I like them though. But this is something I'm definitely interested in. Contemporary resort dishes. Look at that. I love this. And look at all of the cast member costumes and jackets right here. Wow, I didn't think I'd see so many of them in one spot, but 
That's pretty amazing. Look at these ones. These are the old Hollywood Studios ones, I think. I don't know. I can't tell which ones are which. These next couple of things are absolutely mind-blowing because I love them so much. First, we have a table from the California Grill. That's amazing. This was actually in the contemporary, used for a table at the California Grill. And then, one of the beautiful comfy chairs at Disney's Beach Club in the solarium. Look at that. These chairs are so comfy and massive. They actually have two of them. Wow, only $125. This is another amazing piece because I had to pull it out. But inside the Murphy beds, this is one of those actual like arts from the All-Star Movies Resort. $395. This is massive though. Wow, what a find. Above you can just see all the crazy lamps from all the different resorts at Saratoga. I think that's a lamp from the Brown Derby. Another Saratoga. Look at this. This is Disney Springs Little Crane from Once Upon a Toy Mickey Ear Shop. Wow, I like that. $495. That's amazing though. Do you remember where this is at though? That's really, really cool. Then they have some old Mickey ears here. Look at this. Ghost Relations Department. Ghost Host. That's really awesome. Ooh, and then they have a Grand Marshal from the Magic Kingdom. That's pretty amazing. $22 for these. And they have a whole bunch of different ones. Cast member ones. Some classic mini ones. Very nifty. And I think that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I will put the link for this location in the description below let me know what your favorite thing was here what would you buy because there was a lot of cool stuff i'm walking out with that contemporary plate i just love the contemporary it's one of my favorites if i had room i would totally take the california grill table that's pretty iconic anywho's we'll see you next time bye